Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Jeanette Speedy World and I'm Jeanette. I'm here to talk about makeup, do makeup try-ons, do subscription box unboxings, mystery box unboxings, makeup hauls, whatever I can think of beauty-wise, subscription box-wise, box-wise, box figure out how to film for you guys. Today I have the new Lunar Beauty Collection, the Moon Shroom Collection. It just got here a couple days ago, but I've been working. So I'm excited to get into this and play with it with you guys. Um, it has an eyeshadow palette, has a highlighter palette, and has some lippies. So I've put all my other makeup on and we're going to try them out. So if you want to see what's in the Moon Shroom collection and see me try them out, keep on watching. All right, welcome back to my channel, everybody. So happy to see you. So happy you stopped by and decided to click on this video and check it out. If you're new here, please consider watching to the end, Le leaving me a like, dislike, comment, whatever, and consider subscribing before you leave, hitting the notification bell so YouTube lets you know when I post new videos. And to my current subscribers, welcome back. So happy to see you all. Uh, don't forget to leave me a comment and let's get into the moon shroom collection from Luna and beauty comes in a, a black box i'm going to open her up for you and that's what she looks like and then when you take off this it has a card inside with the collection i did buy the whole collection okay <laughs> so it tells you what's in here and gives her socials and a great picture of Manny and a couple models okay so let's put that over there and then that's everything in there it does have three lippies which are packaged separately let me just take these out of the box there's this package okay <laughs> and then there are, okay Sorry guys, here's our three lippies. <laughs> okay, so let's open these up. The three lippies are, what do they say? Soul, Ella, and Flora. Okay, so let's check these out. I believe these are lip glosses. Okay, is this his beautiful packaging? Yes, lip gloss. That's what his packaging looks like on all his lip products. And this one is called, let me look at it, Soul. That's what that looks like. That says put one on, right? Might as well since I'm trying everything on for you. That's Soul. Let me show you. Okay, kind of a, a nude, uh, neutral looking lip gloss. All right, so that's our first one. Second one is this one's called Flora. Let's take her out. Okay, same kind of packaging. Don't you love the uh, the diamond top part of it? Kind of smell va like vanilla. That's what it looks like. Love the doe foot. Here, let me zoom in so you can see this doe foot better. Okay. And let me find something. Let me get a little makeup wipe out so I can take off the lip color. In between. Okay, well, let's put this on. So this one again is Flora. This has a pink tint to it. Tastes good. <laughs> and that's Flora. 
All right. Pretty, pretty. And then the third one is called Ella. If you can see that. Okay. Let's open her up. How you guys doing? Filming this on Saturday, April 9th. I still have to do my taxes. So I have to get that done this week. <laughs> Here's Ella. This looks like a clear lip gloss. Alright. Let's take that off. Yeah. That's a clear. They all smell the same. she is. Alright, they feel nice. He has a great formula. He does have a really good formula. I love his lip oils too. But this packaging is so cute. They get the little mushrooms on them. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see. Look how cute that packaging is. Alright, so let's open our little package up has the LV there see their logo on there on their tissue paper okay everything is in bubble wrap we've got two palettes here so the smaller palette this is the highlighter palette so I've heard great things about his highlighters. I, I did not know about Manny MUA when he had his other collab with a highlighter palette way a long time ago. Did not know anything about him. I wasn't following YouTube Beauty. I didn't know anything about YouTube Beauty <laughs> until I had my knee replacement and I was bored out of my mind. Look at that, so pretty. And I started getting like a boxy charm and stuff, and I was like, I wonder. If people post anything about what they get in their boxy charms, because I I'd use YouTube to like look up how to do things around the house, you know, and that was it. I never went back and you know rewatched anything, just you know. And so I found this whole world out there <laughs> of subscription box unboxings, makeup, playing in makeup. I was like. Oh, where have I been? You know? <laughs> so here I am, 57 years old, three years into my YouTube journey. <laughs> so here I am. So these are pretty. I'm going to pull up my sleeve and we'll, I'm going to swatch these highlighters. Are they named? Yes. Um, what does that say? Sugar and Tink. So this one is Sugar. This one is Tink. And then this one is Blossom and what does that say? Wrinkle? Sprinkle? I think it's Sprinkle. <laughs> one thing about being 57. <laughs> Need glasses now. Wearing contacts. Oh, they look so pretty. They look very pretty. Oh, which shade should I try? Let's wait and see what the eyeshadow palette looks like before I put on my highlighter. I already have blush on and bronzer and all that and foundation. So I did use the Nude Prism Blush from Luna Beauty. Okay, I used these two shades. Pink Prince and Kawaii. These two right here. These kind of pinky colors. So I'm hoping there's a you know, I can coordinate it with <laughs> the palette. I didn't even think of that. I was like, oh, these are pretty. I'll put these on. And then, I, I of course, I use my Charlotte Tilbury uh, cream bronzer in Fair, of course. But then I decided to pull out this um, Outer Dimensions palette from Lunar Beauty, which I haven't pulled out in a while. I have it. Usually I keep it showcased over there. Um, but I used a little bit of White Sky and Bright Sky underneath my eyes and then I use some of this bronze and tan sky as bronzer today. 
So he has all these different shades so you can kind of mix and match and get your, you know, match it to your skin tone. So that's what I did with the face. Okay, so now let's see what the palette looks like. Now, of course, I've seen it on the internet, but right at the moment, I can't remember. Look how cute that is. Such adorable packaging. <laughs> Manny MUA. And let's open her up. And the packaging looks like the box, so that's good. And the, this is the back side. He's got his moon for lunar beauty. Oh no, that was the front. This is the back. So, and this is raised. His moon is raised up. So, got some texture going on. And we open her up. And uh, there she is. Okay. Look how pretty. All right. Oops. <laughs> Still learning the camera, you know, in the zoom. And I haven't figured out how to make the noise stop when I zoom in and out. So that's, you know, any, any suggestions, uh, let me know. <laughs> Is it the microphone that's right attached to it, right next to the lens? I don't know if there's anything I can do to help with that. Let me know, any of you photography geeks out there. All right. All right, so I've swatched everything for you. Let me show you a little close up. Pretty, a couple of them I had to like go over a couple times, but they're definitely buildable. Very pigmented. There's some very, a couple of sh pretty shifty shades in here. This is an 18 pan palette. All right, 18 pans, like I said. And that's what she looks like. So the top row is pretty um, neutrally. Pretty neutral. You can use any of these in your transition. Then some pretty uh, sparkly in the center row. Uh, some duochromes in there for sure. And then some darker colorful shades on the bottom. So I'm excited to get into this. <laughs> I'm going to pull my little um, a mirror up here so I can uh, see what I'm doing. And I will uh, zoom you in so you can see what I'm doing. 06 from Singe Beauty. If you can see it here, Toad, right in my transition. Okay, let's come up here. Let me see if I can adjust this just a little bit. And I'll move my mirror. There we go. I'm going to get right in the transition here and see how that goes. Now this eye, this is my right eye. Occasionally right in this area, I'll get like patchy with some eyeshadows and it's just my eye because then it doesn't do it on the other eye. <laughs> so it's just a thing of my eye. So when I find an eyeshadow like, like that, I'm not getting that patchiness right on that spot in my crease. So that's wonderful. Okay. So I got that. And I do have my Sigma switch here. I'm going to bring it a little closer. Okay. A little Sigma switch. And then I put a little more on the other eye. Just a little bit in the transition for you guys. I'll look up, make sure the camera sees me. <laughs> I kind of like go all the way down to the corner when I'm doing this. But I'll deepen up that outer corner. Okay, so that's nice. And, and then I'll probably use Pure Ball. Is it Pure Ball? Puff Ball. <laughs> pure Ball. Puff Ball right here. And um, I'll use the same brush, just clean it off with my Sigma Switch. 
I'm going to tap off any excess and just use that to buff the edges a little bit so I get nice and smooth edges. It is a little powdery so like I said I'm tapping off the excess. Let me come up here and make sure you all can see what I'm doing. <laughs> Because that's what you're here for, right? To see me try on the eyeshadows and the highlighter and stuff. Okay. So we got that blended. So, or pretty, maybe pretty poison. This kind of dark, purpley, magenta-y. Tap off the excess there. I am cleaning on my Sigma Switch in between, just so you know. I might have to change brushes, though. I should have changed brushes, I think. For the outer corner so let's go with um, this uh, E05 from Singe Beauty make sure we're clean <laughs> and it's just a little bit of a smaller brush here just so I can get it in my outer corner nice just kind of tap that in there yeah that's going So, I'm hoping, see, I started my new job this week. Um, I'm back in a procedure area in the radiology department as clinical lead this time. So, for my first week, you know, I kind of, I knew everybody, you know, because I've worked in their PRN, taken a little bit of call to help them out. I've kept my, when I left IR a couple years ago, I, can, I wanted to keep my toes in because I like I liked doing the procedures, so I like that kind of work. And I kept doing procedures, but just all in different areas of radiology. So now the opening for clinical lead it opened up. And my boss said, "I think you should apply for that." <laughs> And since I wouldn't change bosses or anything, I was like, you know, she just she just felt like it would be a good fit for me. So I tried, and yes, I got it. And I'm, I'm actually co-clinical lead. She decided to hire on two of us to help with all of the responsibilities. So we're kind of learning together. She started a couple weeks before I did the other uh, clinical lead. And I started this past week. The first, uh, you know, uh, first week of April. And so the first week I've just been kind of, you know, getting back in, getting the groove down again, see, checking out the dynamics of the unit, uh, figuring out the responsibility, the extra responsibilities for clinical lead, you know, and things like that. And, uh, yeah, so... I'm getting in there. I'm on, I am on call this week. I'm filming this on Saturday afternoon. I'm on call. So hopefully I don't get called while I'm in the middle of doing this. Because <laughs> I'll go with like a half eye look done, you know. That would be interesting, right? Uh, I, have to, I know I have to go in on Sunday for a case. So I said, let me try to do this today. And hopefully I just, you know, they don't call me. And that'll work out just great. So I'm going to get a little more of that puff ball on that same little brush and just smooth out the edges a little bit here. Okay, so this is going on nice. So far we've just used all mattes. And I'm going to take that same brush and go back into Pretty Poison and just kind of buff my lower Waterline. You might notice it looks like I have eyeliner on, but if you remember a few weeks ago, I got permanent eyeliner done. So I'll always have something there. So if I get called out in the middle of the night, at least I've got something there, you know? Because when you get called out in the middle of the night when you're sleeping, you don't have time to stop and put on any makeup. <laughs> There, that's looking nice. Okay, okay. And 
All right, what do you think so far? I think it looks pretty good. I'm gonna take some of um, Honeysuckle, right here, this kind of orange shade. I want to combine that with the purpley pinky look and I'm going to put that right in here. I'm using that same Singe Beauty brush, the smaller one. Just put that right in there. Just to get, you know, a little bit of a dimension be a little different <laughs> so it's not all pinky purple I got some of this mustardy yellow which is a very pretty called honeysuckle it looks like a, um, a little fairy in the pan embossing there we go yeah I see some people when they're doing these get ready with me they just do one eye and then they come back with the other eye done but I'm always afraid I'm going to forget what I did. So, <laughs> yeah. <you know. laughs> All right, so there we are so far. Okay, with our look. So I think, um, do I want to do a little bit of that honeysuckle on the lower lash line too? Just on the inner part. Kind of match the top with the bottom. Okay. That one didn't show up. Come back here. It might have shown up, but I didn't see it. There we go. Now I see it. Come where you guys can see me. All right. All right. So we're going to start doing planes with some shimmers here. So I get you there we go just a little bit closer so first okay I've got I've got my Sonia G builder brush that I got in my very first Beautylish box I found this um, works really nice with packing on shimmers and I've got some setting spray here you can use any setting spray I have my Lorella matte setting spray here that I just have at my desk just in case this is my filming desk that I'm filming at so I'm going to try um, in the outer part witch's hat which is like this purpley shimmer shade I thought that looked really pretty when I swatched they all look pretty when I swatch them but that magic muff mushroom looks really beautiful so let me get some of that on my brush here and I'm going to spray it okay just a little bit so now I'm going to what have I got here? Oh, you get the magnifying glass. You can see all the little things that have fallen. <laughs> get them off, right? Okay, so I'm going to do this here. On the outer part of my eyelid. Close to the purpley outer corner. go it's hard to talk and pack on shimmers at the same time <laughs> so I was telling you about my job I told you I'm on call this weekend um, so um you know I have my phone right next to me so if I stop all of a sudden going into an emergency but so far been okay I know I have to go in tomorrow for a case so that's okay you know it is what it is <laughs> yeah look at that okay that looks good that looks good it's my little magnifying mirror <laughs> all right so next I think let's try with the finger and see and I want to try this magic, do I want to do that in the inner corner though? Let's try with Foxfire right here. It's kind of a orangey reddish brown shimmer. Yeah, that looks pretty. 
I'm going to pack that. Let me move that right here. Right next to the purple. And it'll kind of go with the uh, the mustardy orange color there. With a little pink and orange mixed in. All right, that looks that looks okay. Let me just play in. I'm so glad you came to play with me today. <laughs> Cause I'm just sitting here, you know, not doing anything. I was watching some YouTube channels, some YouTube videos, watching the uh, friends and creators. They all come back from their friends and creators creators trip. Have you been following them on Instagram? Their pics and stuff. I can't wait. Uh, Glitter Fallout posted her vlog today, so I watched that. So that looks like a great little trip. They went to New Orleans. So that just looks like so much fun. And uh, yeah, and so, I mean, I recognize probably about half of the group. I think there was 30-something ladies, creators that went. And uh, I can't wait to see what everybody else posts, you know, to see what they all did. And the fun stuff they did in New Orleans. So now I'm going to try the magic mushroom. I'm going to use my pinky. Oh, this just feels so nice. Okay, so that's a very pretty color. It's almost a sheer. I'm going to put that right in my inner corner here. Just kind of pack that in there. Let's do the other eye. Yeah. So that's been fun to watch. Can't wait till, like I said, they. I'm sure a lot of them will be vlogging. And I'm probably going to find some new <laughs> creators to watch that I hadn't watched before. But there's a lot in there that I do already watch. So that's cool. This eye look is looking kind of cool. Speaking of coal, right? Uh, I still have my swatches on. Hope I don't get them on my shirt. But, and that's, this is kind of different. Uh, this is, this is a beautiful palette. And I can make, I can make this work for work also, as well as fun. And then I can do a, a grungy green look. Oh, that'll be fun too. That'll be fun. So let me uh, blend out a little bit here with my puff ball. Yeah. Just on the edges, just to keep things smooth. We'll go all the way around. That looks nice. I think that looks nice. I like that kind of orangey, pinky, purpley combination there. <laughs> what do you think? All right, let's 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 zoom on out here. All right, we're going to put on some highlighter and then I'll go off camera and do my mascara and stuff and do the final look. So for mascara, or for mascara, for highlighter, we've got four shades in here and I'll probably use one of these on my inner corner. Um, let's, let's, let's use Blossom, okay? <laughs> you know, and bring it all together here. So here's some Blossom. I'm using uh, my Sinj Beauty little fan brush. This was the Allie Dawson collection. I, I really like bling brushes too. They're very nice. I have them. Oh, 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 hello. Hello, you need to see. Can you see? Oh, <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> that is some bling right there guys and but you know if you've watched my channel you know that miss Jeanette likes a glowy look look at that holy cow I, I barely touched it we'll do a little here woo because I am that girl who still likes the highlight when the when highlights first started getting popular, I was like, I was a single mom. I didn't do my makeup a lot. I didn't know what highlight was. So when I discovered highlight, <laughs> Jeanette said, yes, yes, we like that. 
Okay, let's get in a little closer. You can see that. That is beautiful. That is beautiful, I think. I think. What do you think? All right. So, and then I have a refer brush. It's a 03, and this is just a pencil brush from Refer. And let's get the lightest shade called Sugar and just pop that right in the inner corner here. Just pop a little bit right there. Oh, and yeah. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Sugar. <laughs> All right. There. Oh, I'm looking in my mirror and I like how it looks. Okay, I have to go put some mascara on, guys, and uh, finish up this look. Take take the headband off. So I'll be right back. Okay. Oh wait. Let's 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 do some lips first. Quick, quick. Let's do the pink. I still have the clear one on. I'm just gonna put some more of this pink right on top. Get, get a little pink glossiness going on here. It tastes so good. <laughs> All right, so let me go and finish my eyes. I'll be right back. All right, so we're back with the finished look. I do it tomorrow's hair washing day, but I did the best I could <laughs> for y'all. <laughs> So let's zoom in so you can get a final look at the eyes. First, look, look at the cheeks still. So, yeah, that highlighter. And then here's the finished look on the eyes. Well, I think we used three mattes and three shimmers, so six out of the 18 shades. Um, I put a little um, of one of my Kaleidos. Uh, multi-chrome hot uh, eyeliners in my waterline and this is just a uh, essence princess lash on my lashes uh, since I got them curl let's see I got them like permed and tinted I've it's been wonderful I, when I go to work I just need to put one coat of lash of you know mascara on and I'm done and a lot of times I don't even do the bottom ones anymore because I got the permanent eyeliner on it makes it so easy I'll still put eyeshadow and stuff on but uh yeah because I have really short lashes here I don't know if you can see but on this outer part of my lower lash line is short I'm trying to grow them but sometimes you know it's it's hard it it looks funny with mascara, but it looks better now that I had the permanent eyeliner on. So I'm liking that. So as far as this Lunar Beauty collection goes, I'm so happy I got it. I'm not sad. I'm not, you know, regretting anything. I think I'll get lots of use of these highlighters. Yeah, yeah. Because I got them in my inner corner. I got them on my face. I, put, I did put some under my brow bone. And then these shadows are beautiful. I'll show you the palette once again. We dug in, let's see, yes, we used one, we used two shimmers. No, we used three shimmers because we used Witch's Hat and then we used this orangey one, Foxfire. And then on the inner part of my eye, we used Ma Magic Mushroom, you know, and then we used Puffball, Honeysuckle, Toad, and Pretty Poison. So I used four of the mattes, so seven shades on my eyes. So yeah, there, there it is once again. And of course, the lip glosses feel wonderful. You know, they have a great formula. Love the packaging. I love this diamond look. And yeah, great colors, you know. You got your nudie brown, you got your little bit of a pink tint, and then a totally clear one. And yeah. So that, that's, that's all I got for you. I hope you enjoyed this Get Ready With Me. Let me know down in the comments because you know I don't do a whole lot where I'm actually putting the eyeshadow and makeup on. You know, let me know if you want more. I'm not a, I'm not a makeup artist. 
I'm just someone who enjoys makeup and enjoys playing in makeup. And I watch other YouTubers to get ideas for my eye looks and, you know, how to put the makeup on the right way. <laughs> but there's no right way. Ooh, sorry. That was a... Uh, <laughs> something fell. <laughs> but, um, you know, so there's no right way to put on your makeup. You know, there, you can get ideas and then mix and match ideas from different people. Whatever works for you and makes you happy. And this makes me happy. All right. So I love you guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.